American Natividad in Roncesvalles. Vales. A mother is speaking out after her five-year-old daughter accidentally poked herself with a needle she found near school property. It was here that the kindergartner found the needle while she was playing with her two friends. This is where you found it? Yep, inside there. Inside there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what happened? So we found it and then we poked ourselves. Oh, and no. then we all had to tell the teacher and washed our hands. Yeah. And then we went to ride the ambulance. It happened on Wednesday morning at St. Vincent de Paul Catholic School. The young kids were playing outside before lunch. Five year old Lily says she thought the discarded syringe was a pixie stick and her friend thought it was a thermometer. The school immediately notified their parents. I was terrified, terrified and shocked. I ran over to the school as fast as I could. The police were, um, police were there, paramedics were there. All three children are rushed to hospital. Lily received an immunization shot for hepatitis B and underwent a blood transfusion. But the family still has a long road ahead for treatment. The HIV prophylactis and we need to give this to her for 28 days. So twice a day she needs to take uh, this medicine, this medicine and uh, one pill. A spokesperson for the Toronto Catholic District School Board says custodial staff sweep the school grounds for discarded needles daily and that staff make an effort to teach the kids about playground safety. So it was around in this area yeah, that you found just, this yeah. just days after a similar incident near Bay and Davenport. A three-year-old boy was sent to hospital when he found a discarded syringe on the playground and put it in his mouth. He also thought the syringe was a thermometer. It's very concerning. Um, you know, you think that it's a safe place to play. But Slater says she doesn't want to lay blame on anyone, saying she believes this was an accident. She wants to share her story so that she can help parents keep their kids safe and some good can come of what has been a challenging ordeal. Talk to your kids, yeah. you know, show them pictures of these things. Yeah. Um, tell them why they shouldn't touch it, not just not to touch it, but what might happen if they touch it. So when you see a needle now, what are you going to do? Not touch it until the teacher. She's super resilient and strong and brave, taking all this medicine. It's been really hard, and um, so she's a trooper. She's a trooper. Slater says it will still be another four to six months before they know if Lily is medically in the clear. In Roncesvalles, Erica Natividad, City News.